If you're interested in having a look at my old review of the M3 280 BTs, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can test that with these speakers. Now this is the M3 200 BTs, multimedia speaker system. And uh, yeah, this is quite awesome. We've already tested the sound and I am still like, oh, okay, this sound is all right. I do actually like it. Um, it sounds very 3D, um, 3D surround sound-ish. It's got uh, obviously a subwoofer and it's got two speakers and it's got a volume control as well which is like a VGA connector that connects into the back of the sub and it's got two speakers left and right which are connected via 3.5 mil jack it also is Bluetooth and it also is NFC as well which is awesome so that means that you can use your phone in a near field parameter of the speakers and connect by NFC or you can connect it via Bluetooth, or you can connect it by line in using an MP4, a CD player, a record player, or any sort of device that's got 3.5 mil jack. How awesome is that? Let's get the specs right out of the way. So we've got a power output of RMS 8 watts times two, where it equates to left and right speakers, 16 watts RMS. Then we've got a subwoofer, which is 18 watts, and it equates both of all three speakers together at 34 watts RMS which is not too bad. That's decent sound listening in a very sort of smaller room. The bass is not too rumbly or anything like that. The trebles are really nice and the highs are nice and crisp if you're playing it through 3.5 mil jack into the subwoofer. But if you go to use Bluetooth, there is a slight distortion when you turn it up really loud at its full maximum volume. The base unit is 5 inches and the mid range unit is 50mm times 90mm and the treble unit is 10mm. <laughs> Overall, when you're listening through Bluetooth, you'll find that Bluetooth's a lot louder than connecting it via 3.5 mil jack. Can't really understand why, but it seems to be a lot more enhanced, a lot more volume, a lot more, um, a little bit more distortion on the high end, but not too much on the bass. But it sounds a bit wobbly at times. Whereas when you connect it via 3.5 mil jack, you get perfect sound and you can turn the volume up to max. And then when you've got a maximum volume, you're not getting any treble distortion, any higher distortion, no mids distortion, and the bass is really nice and clear. Everything feels all separated and it feels into a 3D effect, which is awesome. So when I've actually pulled this out of the box, I was like, oh wow, this is gonna be a finger magnet. And it is a finger magnet, but you clean them up and everything like that, they'll look good as new. You've got Edify logo there, and underneath you've got these nice sort of soft slip mats, and it stops it from any surface from slipping off the table, which is really quite cool. You could use this as a bookshelf speaker as well, because it's quite small and thin, and it's got a uh, nice sort of lovely design, and yeah, I'm liking the look of it straight away. I like the silver trim around the actual speaker as well. It separates the actual uh, tweets and the mids, and the, obviously the subwoofer at the bottom here. And so you've got a normal cable at the back, which is a three point five mil jack for both the speakers and at the top you'll notice that these is where you've got the NFC fields on and it's got an NFC logo on the top here and I'm like why has this got NFC as well as Bluetooth as well as a 3.5 mil jack to plug in well it's awesome because then you've got more options you can use your phone as NFC you can use your phone as Bluetooth from up to 10 meters away or you can connect it via 3.5 mil jack but it depends if you like cables go with the cables if you don't like cables go with Bluetooth or NFC as simple as that what I also like is a great feature as well I like the volume control the volume control shines up blue to show that it's on the Bluetooth and um, on the on the side here you can connect your line in straight into like a laptop or a computer or you can use a 3.5 mil jack headphone jack and then use the control volume like that or you can control it through a tablet or a phone 
The cable's quite thick, it's got the same sort of padding underneath and it means that it's not going to slip anywhere, which you'd think if it's on a table and it's on its own and it's this small, it's going to be quite light and stuff with the cable, but it's actually quite weighty, feels like a great premium quality and the volume turns really nice, it's nice and fluid and it just looks really stylish. So say that you wanted to put these speakers in a bookshelf or you wanted to put it on like marble or some sort of surface, well these are also anti-vibration so if you've got the speakers right next to them they've both got these on the bottom as well as well as it stops them from slipping but it also stops the vibration and it keeps everything in order so you don't get any kind of harmful acoustic sound you get really nice acoustic sound from actually having these vibrated mats on there which is awesome edifar so yeah i'm really quite i think it's really quite a cool little item to have on these speakers and also on the volume control so let's talk more about this little subwoofer well let's start talking about subwoofer we left it all in the wilderness it has it didn't have nowhere to go but it's in my arms now so let's talk about it so underneath the bottom there you've got no led or any sort of infrared at the bottom or anything like that got a nice little trim subwoofer base there you've got an edifier logo at the top here and then you've got a base hole on the side here and there's no base hole on the other side it's just mdf wood and it also has at the bottom the anti-vibrational slip mats as well get for obviously it's a subwoofer so you want to make sure that it's okay and then on the back you've got the basic volume control which is separate from everything else so this will control your volume all around total and it won't have nothing to do with the bass but this has control of the sub only so you can turn the bass completely off if you're in like um, I don't know in university or something like that and you want to keep everything calm and quiet a little bit without any bass you can turn the bass off and just have these main 2.1 surround sound speakers going as I said it's got 3.5mm jack it also has an inlet for CD player as well so you can have a CD player and a PC at the same time or a tablet or whatever as long as it's got 3.5mm jack you'll be able to connect into here and as I said it's got a VGA connector which you'll find on the back of an old school computer and uh, they're using this as the connect for the volume control which is awesome and it gives you it's quite a bit of length anyway with the cables um, also you've got your on and off power button and then you've got your uh, phono plugs or RCA cables that you call it for your left and your right um, for your speakers and it's as simple as that and there's nothing really more to say about it other than I'm going to leave a link in the description down below and oh actually no I, what I've got to say is uh, what does it sound like compared to the ones that I've already reviewed to the ones that I've got now well technically I can't really remember I would rather you go to my link in the description down below go check out the video and then tell me what you thought about the review because those of you people keep saying Edifier, 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 get me loads of Edifier speakers, compare it to this, compare it to that, and it's going all over the place. So I'm going to leave it up to you to go back and have a listen to the other Edifier speakers and then listen to these ones. But if you want, got any other comments that you want to, or if you've got any other ideas that you want me to test other Edifier speakers, say against uh, Sonos or, uh, Ed, uh, well not Edifier, uh, Harbin Carden or Philips speakers or Bang & Olsen, whatever. If you've got any other ideas leave them down in the comments I'll see what I can do so we can I don't know this is all together but yeah I like doing these little speaker reviews because technically I like what Edifier are doing Edifier are not really high in price they're kind of like I don't know they've got a range of speakers for everyone the ones that I really don't like from Edifier are the like the Bluetooth speakers that you can use in the park these speakers and the bigger speakers and the bookshelf speakers, I love them to bits. They are really spot on. The sound is not over enhanced, it's not uh, under enhanced, it's just, it sounds really good. I'm used to listening to studio speakers and listening to people sing and stuff like that, so I can tell the difference when I'm hearing something really with great acoustic clarity of sound. And Edifier really nailing the, well, hitting the nail on the head. They're trying to keep like, the speakers at a great price point for everyone across the range which is brilliant they take care of 5.1 surround sound 2.1 surround sound they take care of everyone anyway this is the end of the video if you like it give me loads of likes if not dislike it leave a comment down below as i said before do your thing and uh, tell me about the 85 speakers you want me to compare and all that sort of stuff share this video and that's it i'll see you next one thanks for watching